Hello. Hello, I'm Damien. It's a smoky day today. Today I want to talk about the 2019 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk, specifically Jeep's 4x4 system called Active Drive. I want to talk about each one of the modes, what they do, what they mean, what they say, and how to engage them when you're on the trail so you can have a better time. So I've been driving this Jeep Cherokee for about 18 months, a little over 18 months now, and in that time I put 18,000 miles on it. It's pretty damn good for what it is I need. I've tested it in all sorts of terrain. So I want to share with other people some of the things that I've learned, and one of them is when and how to use the 4x4 system properly. Let's check it out. I went out to Prairie City OHV in Rancho Cordova, California to find an obstacle that I could best display how each of these systems worked. And this is what we found. A steep sandy incline with a big dip down the left side. Quick note, before you do any off-roading, even in four high, you're going to want to use this button in the dashboard to turn stability control off. Otherwise, you're going to get little grinding noises from the stability control trying to straighten you out. The Active Drive 1 or AD1 system is a full time 4x4 high with a front bias. That means when you're on the highway or cruising somewhere where there's plenty of grip, it's going to push most of the power to the front two wheels to maximize efficiency. The 4x4 is always engaged though, and if it senses slip, it'll kick in as needed. This system is going to be really ideal for most drivers in most situations. There's no engaging AD1 or Active Drive 1. It's always running in the background sensing slips. Something like an all-wheel drive, but with the ability to switch up and turn it into a 4x4 as needed. It's gonna leave it in four auto. That's four high auto with the tires fully inflated. We're gonna see what it does. So what you're going to see there is when it's in 4 high or 4 auto, it's really designed for slippery surfaces, not for steep climbs. The AD2 system adds to this a low range, a transfer case that gives this a crawl ratio of 56 to 1, which is better than a stock Wrangler. Yeah. In this mode, the front wheel bias efficiency is kind of out the window, and really it's just looking for maximum grip on each one of the four wheels. To put it in four low, you simply hold the brake, put it in neutral, and push the four low button. It's gonna blink and the dashboard will eventually show four low in the bottom corner. Once that's done, pop it into drive and you're on your way. This is what that looks like. low mode when you try to climb something even if it's slick slippery or steep it's going to think and then it's gonna put the power down to the wheels that need it with that transfer case giving you a much better crawl ratio um, another key takeaway of this vehicle is when you're climbing something like that that requires thinking on the part of the four-wheel drive system you don't want to let out of the gas doesn't mean you stomp on the gas either but you need to give it steady gas so that it continues to think about the situation while it's getting you up the hill or over the obstacle the third mode is ad lock this adds to ad2 a locking rear differential which in this case is mechanical it forces the back two wheels to turn simultaneously under any conditions. It's important to note that four low shouldn't be used on pavement unless it's covered in snow or ice or something like that. There can be some binding issues and it's important that it has slip underneath the tires. It wants to slip a little bit. This is especially true for the rear locker. Never engage it on pavement, only in really crappy conditions. It has to slip or you're gonna end up binding it and hurting your vehicle. To put it in for lock or locking mode, I'm going to pop it into neutral 
at that lock button, you'll see it went solid immediately. If it's thinking or trying, it's going to be blinking. When it turns solid, you're good to go. Pop that in drive. And let's see how this works. As you can see in locked mode with that rear locker on, it goes through pretty much anything. There's not a lot of thinking to it. While the 4x4 system is still thinking, the back two wheels are locked together and it plows through whatever you've got going on. So that's a quick summary of how to use all these systems and what these systems are and when to use these systems and how to engage all these systems when you need them out on the trail. I hope it's been beneficial to you and if you find it interesting, stick around for more stuff because we're always on the trail and we're always using this machine. For low mode when you try to climb something even though it's sleeping <laughs> in for low mode when you try to climb something regardless of in for mode damn